Hi guys, Abzir. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how we can do keyword research in a very different manner and a different approach. And I'm going to be showing you how we can find out exactly what our customers are actually interested in uh, weeks before they actually come to search for us or come to look for us and where we should be advertising if we're selling certain products and whatnot you as well. And to do this, guys, I'm going to be using Google and I'm going to be using a service called Google Correlate. Now, Google Correlate is very it's not very widely used i don't believe um well it certainly it certainly isn't very widely advertised nothing like google trends is uh, so let me just show you exactly what google say about google correlate okay so it says google correlate is a tool on google trends which enables you to find queries with a similar pattern to a target data series okay so by you adding a keyword in here it's going to allow you to find a similar pattern trending keywords or similar kind of keywords that trend with that keyword in that data set so let's just give give you an idea let's have a look in in the united kingdom first in fact what we'll do we'll use one of google's own um links down here we'll look at, we'll look at lose weight okay so when we click on lose weight guys the first thing i want to point out to you is we've got all of these keywords here we get about 100 keywords all of these can be downloaded to a csv file i'll actually show you how to do that in a moment but let's just see what we can take away from here guys so when people are looking for losing weight or when they're looking to losing weight then these are keywords that google associates with this as well guys in the same kind of trending pattern so you need to come along have a look at the tutorials really pay close attention to the tutorials and the frequently asked questions because it's very very different in the way this works sometimes they're not very closely related but you know what you can find some really cool gems so anyway losing weight people are wanting to do workouts for losing weight they're wanting to burn fat they're wanting to lose fat they're wanting to count how many calories they are burning a day they want to eat wee protein they want to gain muscles eat protein shakes they want to perform cardio exercise and workouts um, they want to know how many calories they're burning a day they want to get in shape okay um, they want to um, do ab workouts and best exercises and anyway they want to know about the best fruits to eat and all sorts guys yeah um, now let me just show you what happens here as well what you can do is you can actually shift this back by weeks so let's just say for example you're getting into your users mindset now so they're looking to lose weight what happens for example four weeks before they're looking to lose weight so we can go minus four weeks and this is in the united states guys okay so you've got things like beach florida fl i believe is florida you've got beach florida you've got clear water florida you've got sarsita florida you've got how to get rid of back acne people want to start looking good they're looking to go to places like the beach they want to get rid of their fat they want to get rid of their acne guys okay um look at these they're all about beaches guys everyone wants to go to the beaches they want to rent a hotel they want to go on holiday they want to go to daytana beaches they want to um you know best heart rate monitor okay some people they want to obviously they might be ill they want to get um they want to have good heart rate monitors and they want to lose um weight because of their health or for health reasons a lot of people want to get rid of it because they want to go on holiday they want to look they want to look good okay um, so anyway, this is one way that you can actually get away from this, guys, or how you what you can take away from this. It really is cool, um, and you've got so much to take away from this, guys. Come along, have a play, and I'm going to show you some more things that we can do here as well, guys. So anyway, this is how you can work with the weeks and week shifts as well. So it really does tell you if you are wanting to, um, if you are promoting things for like losing weight, or if you've got a blog about losing weight, guys, then you know what? It might be a good idea to promote things about beaches, about holidays, um, maybe about other things to do with weight related issues or you know you might be wanting to get into the mind of people who are have illnesses um so anyway this really allows you to narrow down and get down to your customer um, and really get into their mind of things which is really really cool anyway let's go back over to the home page let me show you some more things that we can do here as well guys let's have a look at this one here mittens for example okay so mittens again you've got the word mittens um and oops let me just maximize these guys okay um and you've got some gold here guys you've got things like knit hats you've got thinsulate you've got um ear warmers you've got long johns glove liners uh you've got winter scarf so all of these are related around the same time guys you've got things with mittens everything to do with keeping you warm here okay and if you have a look on the graph down here guys you can actually see when they are trending towards what time so this area here looks to be trending i can 
click over it and hold my mouse down and go over there and if I have a look down here guys this is September time this is October time I should have just done it a bit more guys and would have gone over to November and December time so this is the time when people are actually looking for things like mittens when they are looking for mittens guys then they're also looking for things like ear warmers they're looking for things to do with winter snow they want to do things with pack boots and wool hats and earmuffs which totally makes sense guys and it's really really cool again we can go back four weeks we can have a look what people look for before they want to buy ear mittens for example um, and they're looking at things like winter soccer hunting deer you know people might wanting to go on hunting trips guys and because they're going on hunting tri trips they want to keep their fingers warm and they're looking for mittens okay you got winter basketball of course they want to keep their fingers they want to keep their hands nice and warm guys Okay, so it is really, really cool. Come along, have a look at this, have a play, guys. I promise you, you're going to take lots and lots away um, from this. Let's have a look at something else as well, guys. I've actually shortlisted a few keywords that I want to go through with you in a moment as well. But let's just have a look at some of these ones um, that Google is actually um, telling us about. Oh, or they've actually got down here for us to explore. So this one here, guys, is for comparing US states. So let's say, for example, you are selling equipment to do with hunting and it was the hunting season. OK, so from here, you can actually come along and you can actually find out exactly what people are searching for. For these for when it's hunting season, they want to look for things like um, I don't know, zip line kits and widely a deer hunting and logging equipment and husky boys and I don't know, used kubuta and axe men and I don't know, whatever, ponies for sale, you know, they want to go and take their ponies with them as well, um, used logging equipment and what not you. But what you can do from here as well, guys, is let's say, for example, you was selling these, um, I don't know, um, logging equipment um if you were selling logging equipment guys then what you want to be doing is if you was in the, in and you were selling in the in america in the states then your main focus for your marketing campaigns needs to be in areas like montana okay it needs to be in areas like mississippi it needs to be in areas like Vermont and Maine because they are the most areas where people are actually searching for these kind of keywords okay so this is how you can actually use the compare US states I mean US is totally special here uh, when because you know what it allows you to compare them states which is absolutely brilliant it allows you to really tar target and narrow down your targeted audience. OK, so that's one area, guys, that I wanted to show you here as well. So you've got compare US dates and you've got compare week, weekly time series um, and you've got monthly time series as well, guys. Now, let's just go through a few keywords that I've actually shortlisted down here, guys. Now, let's just say I'm going to go with UK because uh, I'm in the UK. Let's just say, for example, gardening, guys. I was um, looking to target the gardening niche or had a blog that was about gardening. These are the kind of topics that I want to be covering. Garden products and plant nurseries and garden supplies and timber decking and Bradstone and garden centres. I mean, if you don't know what Bradstone is, guys, then it's actually to do with block paving. Have a look here. Bradstone, paving slabs, patio stones and block paving. So these are the kind of sameely related correlating keywords that Google has formed a relationship with not only because they are very closely tied together with our main keyword but because of the kind of relationship and the trending of these kind of keywords when this is actually searched for so gardening people are looking for free gardens they're looking for garden centers they're looking for bradstone and motor okay you got things like motorcycle tires here guys uh, you got also got things like um Let's just have a look at some other weird ones as well. Cabriolet, guys. Now, I'm going to explain these to you in a moment, um, but the only way that I can really explain these to you is, um, is Google doesn't give you totally related keywords down here. Instead, they give you keywords based on patterns, guys. So it might be people that are gardening actually drive cabriolets or they want to buy cabriolets. They're looking to cabriolets and they look for motorcycle tires as well. It actually builds a persona of your customer down here, guys, really depending on how deep you want to take this information and how deep you want to dive down. If you don't want to go into this area of why on earth is Google showing motorcycles and cabriolets, then you know what, guys, come along here, take away the main keywords, take away your main LSI keywords and topics and categories from here, uh, which is absolutely cool. I mean, look, you've got Gucci sunglasses as well, guys. So people that are buying or doing gardening, um, they drive, sorry, they drive Cabriolets, Chevrolets, um, they wear Gucci sunglasses, um, 
and uh, they also look for motorcycle tires as well now a lot of people might think well you know what that doesn't sound like a persona for somebody that's looking for gardening guys well you know what this is what google is telling us at the moment here now we can take what we want we don't have to take what we want there's a lot of noise inside of these results here as well guys but there's lots of very clear very cool results in here as well okay let's have a look at a few more guys okay let's have a look at sore throat <clears throat> Okay, the keyword sore throat. So you've got sore throat here. When people have a sore throat, guys, this is this is what you want to be writing about. These are the kind of topics you want. You want to write about mucus, about runny noses, about phlegms. Sorry, about phlegm. Um, you want to write about how the throat hurts, how you can use paracetamol, um, how you can get tonsillitis, or you can write about tonsillitis and blocked noses and coughing up and ear infections and whatnot, you guys. So anyway, this is what you can take away from this, guys. It is really cool. It is really straightforward to work with. You will have to have a play with it, guys. Uh, but let me just show you some other stuff that you can do as well, guys. Let's have a look at the keyword football, for example, in the UK. Because in America, I'll be writing soccer. Okay, so you've got football live, watch football, teams. So if you're writing about football, guys, this is what you want to do. You've got MOTD, match of the day, that is, guys. Now, you wouldn't know this unless you knew exactly what MOTD stood for. And if you was a football fan and you watched match of the day um, in the UK. Um, but yeah, you know what? You've got things like fantasy football leagues and you've got later scores and team sheets and predictors and Barclays Premier Leagues, guys. So it's telling you everything related that Google is relating with your main keywords, guys. Come along, take away from here what you can what you will as well guys i promise you you're going to enjoy playing with it as well um, now there's another thing that i want to show you as well guys so something like search by drawing what you can do is actually draw a trend and tell to and then tell google to pull back keywords that match that kind of trend so for example you might have something that was very low wasn't trending at all okay and then suddenly poof it just started to trend and now you're telling google you know what google give me something that matches this trending um, graph that I've drawn down here and as you can see it's giving me keywords down here vape mods okay um, you've got a range of 570 vape stores okay I believe vape stores is all about vaping cannabis or you know the vaporizer um, vape cloud so this really took off guys um, and it really took off around 2013 in August time um, and you know what it hasn't decreased so coming down here guys as you can see it's getting higher and higher and okay it has started to decrease a little bit um, but yeah this is the keyword vape store um, okay no we're not looking at vape store are we we're looking at this one here uh, let's have a look <laughs> um, where is it okay vape stores okay but as you can see let's zoom in again vape stores is also very closely tied together with this keyword here as well guys okay the drawn series or all of these are very tightly tightly close together so as you can see it's very cool it allows you to pick up on topics and trending topics that have just started to trend by you just coming along and you know really um, just brainstorming and letting Google brainstorm to you so anyway this is really cool guys come along have a play with it I believe you're gonna really like it um, and if you want to come along and come over to here guys then you can come over by going over to google.com forward slash trends forward slash correlate um, I don't believe you need to be logged in oh let me just show you one more thing as well guys so if we go over to losing weight for example uh, we can click on CSV and this will allow us to download the CSV we can get up to a hundred keywords from here um, let's just give it a couple of seconds and let Google allow us to download it okay so this is the weight loss they actually give it here guys kind of weird but what you can do is you can actually copy this you can open up a new sheet and then you can go onto any empty cell just go over to paste and transpose and what will happen is it will paste it all for you in the way that you want so you've got all your keywords down here guys and as you can see you've got 100 keywords which is absolutely beautiful guys and you can do this for every keyword you can go over to weight loss you can go over down here now and you can go burn fat okay and then you can find out what p what other keywords are related to burn fat guys okay um which is absolutely brilliant so anyway i really hope you enjoy this video i really hope you enjoy working with google correlate it's a new addition to our marketing toolkit that we can use for free guys so take away with it what you can use it and try and get into the minds of your customers use the weeks behind and before and try and find out exactly what's happening to get your marketing campaigns even more precise